If you are in the market for some uh, fast external storage, then stick around because today I'm going to be talking about the SanDisk Extreme Portable range of uh, external disks. Hello, welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec, and in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about uh, specifically the model that I've got, which is the uh, latest version of the SanDisk Extreme Portable Pro. Um, but I'll talk to you about the latest generations and the previous generations and what the difference is, and also the difference between the standard version and the pro version uh, and what the pricing is. So I've got this because uh, I recently, uh, within the last month, upgraded to uh, one of the M1 Mac Minis uh, from my uh, uh, MacBook Pro that I was using before. And uh, with the, uh, the pricing of these, there is, uh, for the M1 Mac Minis, there is basically a 256 gigabyte, a 500 gigabyte, a uh, one terabyte or two uh, terabyte hard drive options um, and the pri dif pricing differential between those uh, can be quite large actually and the difference can more than pay for a much larger external hard drive so I actually went for the uh, basic model of the M1 with the uh, lowest uh, capacity hard drive the 256 and for less than the cost of the upgrade to the 500 gigabyte I actually bought this uh, external one terabyte drive so I've got the 256 and an external uh, terabyte and that's more than enough for me to be honest I uh, I offload most of my other stuff to uh, other backup drives and things like that and also backup in the cloud as well so uh, one terabyte is more than enough for me uh, and so that's why I opted for this and the uh, one issue or one slight concern I had was if I am having things uh, on external drives and need to be ac accessing them uh, in my sort of day-to-day -day work, is there going to be a speed issue? Uh, well, it turns out there isn't really. And especially with these sort of later generation of uh, drives, they're so quick now that I barely notice a difference. I'm sure it is technically quicker if it's actually you know on the hard drive itself on the computer itself rather uh, but certainly coming from uh, what I was coming from uh, I don't notice any difference whatsoever that said I still do keep sort of mission critical things on my uh, my Mac so for example uh, my Ecamm Live that I use to record these videos I have all of the files related to Ecamm Live actually on the computer itself and also the place where it saves the hard the uh, the files to is on the the main Mac's drive as well However, what I do have is a little automation that at the end of the day takes any recordings off that and it moves them over to my external drive. So that's something I do with Hazel. And I did actually mention this in the video that I did all about Hazel. So I'll leave a link to that up in the uh, the top corner. So uh, that's that's me out of the way <laughs> and what I'm using it for. You may need it for something completely different. So sorry for rumbling on about that. Um, let's just get straight into the drive, shall we? And I, I have actually unboxed it, but I've put it back in the box just for you because <laughs> I know people do like to see things coming out of the boxes so here we go this is the official unboxing <laughs> that is what the box like looks like there's not isn't it's a bit of a build-up but there's not much to it because all it is is when you open the box there you go the drive is in the box it's that simple um, it's also got the uh, the Thunderbolt cable or uh, USB 4 cable in there as well and then also a little instruction bu booklet. So that is it. That is the level of excitement that you get from unboxing this. But I have to say that when it comes out, it is actually a really nicely uh, built piece of uh, uh, hardware and does feel really nice in the hand. Uh, it's got a sort of like rubberized uh, coating on it and then a bit more of a textured look on this side. Then it's got this, <clears throat> excuse me, it's got this detail of this sort of metallic edge around this side. And then you've also got this holder here. So, uh, you know, you can add a little clip or something like that to hang it off the side of your bag. Uh, and it does actually feel pretty rugged, like you could literally hang this off the side of a bag and you wouldn't need to worry about it getting bumped and banged. And obviously no moving parts inside either. So it feels pretty tough and uh, and rugged. There is a couple of differences between this and the uh, the. Uh, non-pro version but I'll talk about those and you'll see the sort of differences in the uh, the body of them as well in uh, in just a moment but yeah certainly it feels uh, feels pretty solid and uh, as I say lightning fast for me in the uh, the use I've had of it so far so let me uh, come and show you the differences between the uh, the two uh, and this is the latest version, the uh, second generation. So if I uh, come over to my uh, screen sharing this here is the regular version so the non-pro version if you like and you can see that this has got this slightly different shape cut out here and also the edges are just perfectly uh, rounded without that extra little metallic detail in them and if I just flick over to this one you can see there 
sort of the difference between them uh, and how they look. Now, uh, the original version, uh, or sorry, the, uh, the, the non-pro version, uh, it says that the, the old generation was up to 550 megabytes per second and the new generation is up to 1050 megabytes per second. Well, if we come over to the pro version, uh, basically they've just bought the, uh, the original, uh, the non-pro version up to the speed of the old pro. So now the second generation pro, uh, it previously was 1050 megabytes per second, but now it's 2000 megabytes per second. So that is the version that I got, the 2000 megabytes per second. And as I say, uh, in terms of read write speed for what I do, uh, it's more than adequate. And I keep most of my sort of day-to-day -day working documents and things like that, Excel files and so on, I just keep it on there and there's no speed issue whatsoever. The only things that I do with uh, on the actual hard drive itself now are, as I say, things like my Ecamm live recordings or any sort of uh, any other sort of video stuff that I have going on on there. So uh, let's have a look at the uh, pricing of them as well. I did go for the uh, the one terabyte version. Uh, so currently on uh, Amazon, it looks like they're on a bit of a special offer at the moment. So $229, that is for the pro version. But if I come over to the regular version and just have a look at that, uh, that is $149. So uh, it's about, what's that? Uh, about £70 difference, $70, sorry, <laughs> $70 difference uh, between the two. Uh, but ba basically for that, you're getting sort of double the speed. So that is what you're paying for. There is also a 500 gigabyte version in the uh, original, in the, it's not original, in the non-pro version, uh, the regular version, but you can also go up to four terabytes with it as well, and that is uh, seven, seven hundred dollars for four terabytes. Uh, it's pretty astounding really, to be honest with you. Uh, it's, you sort of lose track of these numbers to think that you can get four terabytes of sort of lightning fast storage in a little thing that's just this big. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing. And they have got also, also got the, uh, the two terabytes terabyte version. Uh, just coming back to the Pro, uh, you've also, uh, the one terabyte is the lowest uh, uh, storage capacity, but you've also got a two, ter uh, two terabyte and four terabyte. And the two terabyte is currently uh, 510 and uh, the four terabyte is basically uh, $900. Do we, does anybody ever fall for this thing of like dropping the one cent off so that it looks like it's 800 and something rather than 900? I don't know, but it's basically $900. <laughs> uh, so that is, uh, that is that. I don't think that the old ones are, in fact, the old versions are still available. So let me just do, just do a little comparison about that. So the two terabyte of the old generation Pro, which is also 1050, is 329. Let me just compare that to this one. Uh, well, it still actually works out as more expensive than the uh, the regular version of the second generation. Um, so <laughs> there, there we go. That is that. I've been uh, really happy with this. And uh, when eventually I do get to upgrade to the latest 16 inch MacBook Pro, which I'm still kind of hanging on for, um, then this is going to come in really handy just as another little external uh, drive as well to carry around with that. So uh, Really happy if you are looking for another option and if you're looking to upgrade to the Mac Mini before you go looking at the higher levels of uh, storage capacity available, just bear in mind that you can get super fast storage uh, for basically half the price that Apple would be charging for to have it all built in. And these days, I don't think we need to worry about it being built in necessarily. So that's all for this video. So if you found it useful, then don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the channel. And if you're using them, or if you've got any other portable hard drives that you're using and how you found those, then leave that below in the description as well. Uh, not the description, in the comments, because uh, that can be helpful to uh, other people who are looking at uh, this video as well. So there we go. That's all for today in this video, but don't want to go anywhere because there are more videos coming up next and I'll leave a link to some hardware related stuff over at the bottom right. Have a great day.